Antimony oxide is the inorganic compound with the formula antimony 3 oxide. It is the most important commercial compound of antimony. It is found in nature as the minerals valentinite and centermontite. Like most polymeric oxides, antimony 3 oxide dissolves in aqueous solutions with hydrolysis. Production and properties Global production of antimony oxide in 2012 was 130,000 tons, an increase from 112,600 tons in 2002. China produces the largest share followed by US, Mexico, Europe, Japan and South Africa and other countries 2%. As of 2010, antimony oxide was produced at four sites in EU27. It is produced via two routes, revolatilizing of crude antimony oxide and by oxidation of antimony metal. Oxidation of antimony metal dominates in Europe. Several processes for the production of crude antimony oxide or metallic antimony from virgin material. The choice of process depends on the composition of the ore and other factors. Typical steps include mining, crushing and grinding of ore, sometimes followed by froth flotation and separation of the metal using pyrometallurgical processes smelting or roasting or in a few cases e.g. when the ore is rich in precious metals by hydrometallurgical processes. These steps do not take place in the EU but closer to the mining location. Revolatilizing of crude antimony oxide Step 1 – Crude stibnite is oxidized to crude antimony oxide using furnaces operating at approximately 500 to 1000 degrees Celsius. The reaction is the following 2 antimony 3 sulfide plus 9 O2 2 antimony 3 oxide plus 6 SO2 Step 2. The crude antimony oxide is purified by sublimation. Oxidation of antimony metal Antimony metal is oxidized to antimony oxide in furnaces. The reaction is exothermic. Antimony oxide is formed through sublimation and recovered in bag filters. The size of the formed particles is controlled by process conditions in furnace and gas flow. The reaction can be schematically described by 4SB plus 3O22 antimony 3 oxide. Properties Antimony oxide is an amphoteric oxide, it dissolves in aqueous sodium hydroxide solution to give the meta-antimonite NaSbO2, which can be isolated as the trihydrate. Antimony oxide also dissolves in concentrated mineral acids to give the corresponding salts, which hydrolyzes upon dilution with water. With nitric acid, the trioxide is oxidized to antimony oxide, when heated with carbon, the oxide is reduced to antimony metal. With other reducing agents such as sodium borohydride or lithium aluminium hydride, the unstable and very toxic gas stibine is produced. When heated with potassium bitartrate, a complex salt potassium antimony tartrate, Ksb 2 c 4 h 20 6 is formed. Structure The structure of antimony 3 oxide depends on the temperature of the sample. Dimeric antimony 3 oxide is the high temperature 1560 degrees Celsius gas. Antimony 3 oxide molecules are bicyclic cages similar to the related oxide of phosphorus 3, phosphorus trioxide. The cage structure is retained in a solid that crystallizes in a cubic habit. The SBO distance is 197.7 pm and the OSBO angle of 95.6 degrees. This form exists in nature as the mineral centermontite. Above 606 degrees Celsius, the more stable form is orthorhombic, consisting of pairs of SBO-SBO chains that are linked by oxide bridges between the SB centers. This form exists in nature as the mineral valentinite. Uses The annual consumption of antimony oxide in the United States and Europe is approximately 10,000 and 25,000 tons, respectively. The main application is as flame retardant synergist in combination with halogenated materials. The combination of the halides and the antimony is key to the flame retardant action for polymers, helping to form less flammable chars. Such flame retardants are found in electrical apparatuses, textiles, leather, and coatings. Other applications 
Antimony oxide is an opacifying agent for glasses, ceramics and enamels. Some specialty pigments contain antimony. Antimony oxide is a useful catalyst in the production of polyethylene terephthalate and the vulcanization of rubber. Safety Antimony oxide has suspected carcinogenic potential for humans. Its TLV is 0.5 mg per cubic meter, as for most antimony compounds. No other human health hazards were identified for antimony oxide, and no risks to human health and the environment were identified from the production and use of antimony trioxide in daily life. References Further reading Institut National de Recherche et de Sécurité (INRS), Fiche Toxicologique N 198, Trioxide de Diantimoine, 1992. The Oxide Handbook, G. V. Samsonov, 1981, 2nd ed. IFI, Plenum, ISBN 0-306-65177-7. External links. International Antimony Association International Chemical Safety Card 0012 Antimony Market and Price Société Industrielle et Chimique de Laine